Okay, Peter, so today I wanted to look at the fight that's coming up on Saturday, a real humdinger of a fight, a mouth-watering fight. This is the clash between Lomachenko and Lopez, coming up on the 17th of October at the MGM Grand. It's been put off for quite a while. Um, there have been some arguments over purses. The word is that Lomachenko took a pay cut because Lopez was moaning that he wasn't getting as much as, as Lomachenko. And, you know, obviously there's less money in the pot now because it's, it's happening behind closed doors. And Lomachenko pushed for it, you know, wanted to fight the best out there. And so here we have it. Now, these two guys are, are clashing. And, and, and what can you say about them? I'm going to give the briefest of, of, of backgrounds. You know, obviously Lomachenko had that amazing amateur career, culminating in, in two gold medals at two Olympic Games. Incredible amateur stats, straight into the pros. World title, fighting for a world title in his second pro fight. He lost that on points, but then after that, every fight he's contested has been a world title. He's looked incredible, you know, and he's just transitioned to the pros wonderfully. He looks just on another level to everybody else. And this is his third, um, you know, world title in, in, in his third weight division. So, and, and he's, he's now, his record reads is 14 and one. So, and then you have Lopez coming along and, and, and Lomachenko is 32. Lopez coming along is 23. So a big age gap there, but a really strong young guy, you know, out of the classic Mexican mold. He's a bull. You know, he comes looking for you. He's incredibly strong, you know, great boxing skills as well. You know, comes in punching. Interestingly enough for Lopez, this will be the first time. I mean, he was identified, obviously, as, as a huge prospect a long, long time ago. And everybody was saying, keep your eye on this guy. This will be the first fight that Lopez has ever been into where he's a betting underdog. You know, people have got Lomachenko as much as three to one up here. But a lot of guys in the trade, I mean, you know, we, you know, we were talking the other day, um, are, are saying that Lopez, you know, they're, they're picking Lopez to win this. This is a guy that's undefeated, a guy that's never lost, you know, has never really come close to losing. And um, it seems to be improving with every fight. Also, what you've got to think about going into this fight, you know, as a young guy, 23, undefeated, you know, never had a problem sort of blowing people away. He's coming in with Lomachenko, who's a smaller guy. Like I say, he's gone through those weight divisions, um, you know, and, and Lopez is also a world champion. And a lot on the line from here. So, you know, he's going to come in as, as ball strong and he's going to have that, that, that brilliant thing about that undefeated youth. He's going to think, I can win this. You know, no problem. I can win this. I'll just blow this guy away. He'll go like the same way it always does. Um, and, and obviously, since we've had the Canelo uh, lawsuit with the um, you know, this is really for the number one pound for pound now, because, you know, arguably Canelo was number one, Lomachenko was number two. Well, Canelo's sidelined now. So this is the number one. And on top of that, it's all the Mexican fans behind Lopez. You know, he could step in and, and take that. Thunder. So a lot to win for Lopez. And I think this is a bull matador type scenario, you know what I mean? Because... You know, Lomachenko, amazing as he is, is not going to be as strong as Lopez. So Lopez is going to come in there looking to assert himself, come forward, you know, with that Mexican body attack. He's going to really try and, you know, rough Lomachenko up, close the space down, stop him using that incredible footwork. And Lomachenko is going to box him, you know, and he's going to box and, and move. But, you know, but Lomachenko can also punch hard as well. So I just think this has all the makings of an absolute classic. The question for me is, is it too soon for Lopez? And, you know, weighing it up, and, I, and I'm going, I know I'm going against some of the guys that we've been talking to. I'm going to say, I just think it's that little bit too soon. And I think Lomachenko is that bit too special. And he's not been showing any signs um, in any of his fights of, you know, a, a gap in his game, of, 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 of uh, you know, going, going down, basically, being on the slide, being the lion in winter, which is the usual scenario we have here. I don't see that. You know, I see Lomachenko at the top of his game and maybe going upwards. And remember, he moved up those weight divisions really because there was no one left to challenge him in every weight division that he cleaned out. So, you know, I still, I, you know, in the undefeated guy, you're always saying he hasn't found his level yet. And, he, you know, he's still moving up. And, I, you know, Lomachenko's got that one defeat, but forget about that. That was in his second pro fight for his first world title. You know, and, and, and you know, Russell just had a few too many tricks for him. But, you know, he's, he's, he, he learns incredibly quickly and he's a totally different product now. So, you know, I don't I think they will both believe that nobody can beat beat them. Um, you know, but Lomachenko is that smaller guy. But I just see him having too much, being too cute, using too many angles. I see him frustrating Lopez. I see maybe the key to the fight for Lomachenko being in frustrating Lopez and getting him to stop thinking, getting him to start lashing out, trying to use his weight, trying to use his size, trying to rough him up. And I think as soon as Lopez takes his eye off on the ball in any small way, Lomachenko will capitalise. But there's always a huge danger in here against such a ball-like, strong, confident guy as Lopez. So I don't think it can be anything but an amazing fight. You know, this is a fight that comes along 
every 10 years. You know, I mean, this, this, is, this is a Leonard Hearns. This is an Ali Fraser one. This is, a, you know, two guys at the top of their game who, you know, really have it, are going to put it all on the line and bring all amazing skills and amazing physicality to this. So I'm really looking forward to it, Peter. I don't think it could be anything but a humdinger. OK, Peter, so I'm going to stick my neck out on this one. And, you know, it's the bull and the matador scenario, the classic bull and the matador scenario. And in this occasion, I'm going to go with the matador. I just think it's a little too early for Lopez. And I think Lomachenko has just got a little bit too much. So I'm going to go with the matador. And I'm saying Lomachenko on points. I don't think he'll stop Lopez, but I'm saying Lomachenko on points. And what can't fail to be a classic fight and a classic demonstration of skills. 